Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Refactors video, and this is going to be my uh, tested and tried and tested clear for no Laura and no Louise clear. So, first of all, we have Realm here to help out with some LB fill, LB damage a little bit, and her Rod and Peril will help us build the gap to the to the threshold. This is the gear. This is the build. Of course, you don't need Greed's Coat. That could be anything that could give you evasion. Like I'm saying, as I said in a previous video, guys, whatever you can get to 100% evasion is whatever you're going to do, guys. I'm not going to really go into the evasion builds too much because whatever you got is whatever you got. Sephiroth is the same. Don't. In fact, I could remove those. Don't need those. Sephiroth is the exact same as the last video. We have a bar here who basically is acting as the counter position that Laura was doing in the last video except it's it's Ibarra now and it's really interesting that she can equip whips by herself it's actually really good that she can do that soul's vision card and this is my Ibarra so bad though because I don't have a lot of killers for for what she wants so it's good enough though it's, it's just good enough to win but it's like it's really bad as you can see 75% stone killer at least almost 300% Reaper killer, but uh, not much I can do about that. 300% only first damage though, which is good enough for me. So there's the Ibarra build. Elena, she only stay, she's only going to be shifting to her brave, her base form in the, at the last turn. But this is, she's basically the Jesse role of the last video. And it's going to require a little bit of stuff here, but you can figure out, figure out however you need these res These resistances are good enough, guys. So if you can just copy these resistances while also making her death immune and auto provoking and 100% evade I'm using Bohemian's vision card. It really helps out the 20% evasion really helps out I went ahead and used a red pearl red pearl and got that vision card for this video guys and Ling is the exact same as the last video nothing there The only change for um, Earth in the last video is I equipped I really needed this the promise from childhood to help boost the chaining, the, the speed of the chaining. Uh, I tried this without it, it just wasn't good. So, <laughs> remarkably, I always talk bad about this uh, this chain thing, but like, it's actually gonna help in this video, guys, because she's not here for the damage, we're here for the chain numbers. So, with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, first turn, Realm is gonna use Unstoppable Protection. Elena is going to use Beloved Heroine and Legendary Heroine. Sephiroth is going to do the exact same thing as the last video. Ibar is going to... I don't know. Do this and... That's... No. We're going we're gonna to... It doesn't really matter what you do on Ibar because none of her abilities are really that useful. Really only her little burst is useful guys so... On Ling we're going to use Bly Step. We're going to use Disarming Movement and Purifying Dance. Aerith is going to shift over. She's going to do the exact same thing as the last video. Finally border. So Sephiroth and, and Aerith are going to do almost the exact same stuff as the last video. Except some alterations. The goal of this, this, uh, this attempt here is getting your morale gouge up so you can do more damage with Ibarra. That's literally the whole reason behind it. Otherwise, you're just doing basically the same thing. Laura, basically Zibara. And like I said, the Rod in Peril from, from Realm is going to help bridge the cap, the gap that you need for Ibar, and she's dual wielding rods, so it'll be double effective. Now there are some variances involved with this, unfortunately. There has been situations in my playtesting, which took hours by the way, so you can appreciate that. That'd be great. This took hours of playtesting, but it is possible to get this out. Um, Elena is going to use Crystal Refragmentation and also Beloved Heroin. And don't be worried about that, um, not being able to do that again in the next turn because we're shifting to our base form the next turn. Triple Cast, we're going to use Medium Stance. We're going to use uh, Bly Step. And we're also going to use Passion and Performance and Lean. Realm is going to use Double Sketch in both of these cooldowns. So, hmm, Ibarra, that should be 
good, I think. Yep. I found that's a little bit better because then Sephiroth gets a little bit of the first damage. If unfortunately for Ybar, I don't really gonna get that. Because Ybar has to go first because of the dark and peril that she gives. So that has to be the turn. We're gonna go ahead and shift Elena and use Purifying Slash and also Way of the Blossom for HP Barrier. So that Link can use her abilities. She can use Celestial Dance and also Enthrall. Now we have Broken. Then we're going to use Quadcast. This is going to be a little different than the last video. Wish to save the planet. Triple cast flame tag. Flame fang, sorry. And those two. Realm isn't going to do anything now. She would have helped fill the little burst gauge, but not needed. So quickly, it's going to be very quick. You got to be very quick with this one because it's very quick. You have to do this. Very quickly, Aerith first, so he gets the Rod in Peril, then quickly Ebar, and then Sephiroth. There it is. So there's the clear, guys. No Ling, no, not, I mean, no Luis, no Lara. It's very tough, but I've seen people do even without Ling. Uh, it's, it's very tough without Ling, but I. Maybe I'll figure out a way to do that too. I, I think that might be uh, push my sanity a little bit too much. I uh, know thanks on those. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. I hope this video helped you out for if you don't have Laura or Louise. And up to see you in the next one. Peace.